Adults can enjoy their own summer reading program at the Indianapolis Public Library with books and activities that very much relate to Indiana's bicentennial celebration. Susan Davis with the library's program office and Emily Chandler with the library selection team are with us to talk about this year's big event. Susan, thanks for joining us. What about the theme for the Adult Summer Reading Program? Well, this year's theme has to do with the Bicentennial. We are celebrating our state's 200th um, anniversary, so we're very excited. And for the Adult Summer Reading Program, we always try and pair it with what the Children's Summer Reading Program theme is. And so this year, we're all celebrating Indiana. Mm -hmm. And for the Bicentennial, we're not only celebrating with books that relate to Indiana or authors that are local to Indianapolis or Indiana, we are hosting several book discussions and a lot of them are going to be at historical sites. We're going to be having a book discussion over at the Benjamin Harrison presidential site which will be very exciting and another place we're going is the old central state where it's that now the Indiana Medical History Museum mm -hmm. so we're having a lot of fun with this we're really enjoying celebrating all over the community and we're ex we're excited for patrons yeah. to be able to share with us yeah and this is an informal program for people to read uh, about 17 books that have been chosen uh, so there are no points to be earned no prizes to be gained, just the love of reading, correct? Exactly. Part of it is just the love of reading. It's a selection. People can look and see what books might entice them. And then also having the book discussions is a way for them to get out into the community and also talk about the books and share their thoughts and how the books relate back to Indianapolis. Wonderful. Let's talk to Emily Chandler now with the library's collection management department, one of the selectors for the library. There are 17 books on the adult summer reading book list. Tell us about these. Um, yes, yeah, so basically it was done by a selection of or collection of librarians, um, myself included, and we had a long list of about 20 books and whittled it down. And we looked for some criteria, Indiana authors set in Indiana and some sort of connection, like an Indiana character or something or whatnot. Most mm -hmm. of the books have at least two of those criteria. So even if it was just an Indiana author, it didn't, it didn't always make the list if there wasn't a meaningful connection okay, to Indiana. Give us a couple of examples of titles here. Um, this one was actually my favorite. The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat. It's about three African-American women who um, became friends during the civil rights movement and then be, uh, were still friends to this day and it chronicles their lives. And it was set in a fictional town called Plainview, Indiana. Um, it was just a phenomenal read. I encourage anybody to read it. It's definitely my favorite of the of the books. Okay. Um, another one was Indianapolis Jazz, which oh, was yes. yes, and this was an interesting read um, because. And it talks about Indiana Avenue, which uh, is where IU is, is now, and it uh, talks about the jazz scene in Indianapolis in the early 20th century. Also, the influence of Crispus Attucks High School. Um, we all know Crispus Attucks because of the basketball team in the 1950s, but they had a phenomenal music department in the early part of the 20th century, and this really showcases the influence that Crispus Attucks had on both locally known and nationally known uh, jazz musicians that came from here. You had to read all of these books to make an informed decision, I did. didn't you? I did, yes. <laughs> That's a labor of love. I think it a is. lot of bibliophiles might think that you've got a dream job. I love my job. I dearly love my job. But yes, it, 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 I started in late December and I was reading up until the beginning of March. Um, and I've read more than this. And this is just, you know, the, the finalized list, but it, it's definitely a dream job. Um, but it is definitely intense sometimes, especially when you have programs mm. like this. Now, you can find the entire book list, of course, on the library's website at ndpl.org. But Emily, what about um, some of the activities that you and the team went through to make your final decisions here? Yes, uh, and um, yeah, it was, a, it was very complicated because we didn't want um, er, something that everybody had read, like John Green. We did put a Vonnegut on there because, hey, it's Vonnegut. I mean, Slaughterhouse-Five. Yes, Slaughterhouse-Five, thank you. So, you know, we, we did do that. But most of the titles are five years or newer or um, within five years. Um, again, some sort of meaningful connection to Indiana and something that would be mass appeal and very book discussion worthy. And, and fortunately, the team was an awesome team to work with. Um, they all came with very, some very bright ideas and very uh, good suggestions. And 
it was a pretty much a slam dunk when we finally got to finalizing the list. So we were very pleased when we got done with it. Well, fantastic. And we have more for the summer. It's not just about reading, but Susan has also put together what's called the Summer Garden Series here at the library for adults and in some cases for families and programming. But uh, tell us about the Summer Garden Series. Oh, sure. It is at Central Library. It's out in the East Garden. We're very excited again to host this. We have a few sessions of yoga, just kind of a relaxing evening out in the garden. We're also be going to be partnering with Sun King Brewery. They're going to be helping to sponsor a coloring night. So that should be also a very relaxing evening and we have a couple other programs uh, jazz we have a jazz oh. concert and um, yeah it's gonna be a great time and all the programs are free at the library where else would you rather go to have fun during the summer right exactly so the book discussions author appearances musical events film showings and the summer garden series all in store for you this summer at the library thanks to Emily and Susan and to learn more about the adult summer reading program, just go to ndpl.org.